And you go to the bottle shop and you see all these wines that are like, wow, that's really expensive. And like, wow, that's really cheap. And if you go, well, the cheap one must be bad and the expensive one must be good. Well, we're about to find out if that's actually true. We've got six wines here provided by our good friends at Different Drop and they want us to put this in price order. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. You know what I mean? Anyways, let's taste this fucking wine. <laughs> Wine number one. It's 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 dark. Like that's that's that is that is. We have not seen wine that's been that dark for a while. Um, uh, to be honest, I can't even see through that, and it's filtered. Really dense. Really really dense. Really intense, rich flavor. Nice kind of gentle tannin, but the complexity is not there for me to justify this as you know, being like a hundred dollar bottle. Mm. Quite elegant indeed. It's got this nice sort of vanilla characteristic running through the middle. A little bit of tannin as well. All feels pretty well integrated. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that this is on the more expensive side of the bracket. I'm gonna say I'm the first one in the room trying this wine, and I think the nose is closed. And I think maybe it's a little bit cold. Anyway, as you can see, we're kind of rugged up here in uh, the Adelaide Hills. We're in winter at the moment filming this, so a little bit, little bit chilly. I do love that it does have a decadent feel to it. It is quite intense initially. It just doesn't have, yeah, it just, it's just missing something for it to be like absolutely otherworldly, you know? You know when those wines kind of do that seems to me that that might be more expensive. Despite the color, definitely leaning on the sort of slightly heavier style. I'm gonna say that's a Cabernet. Uh, how much would I pay for it? I mean, that's also a good way to go about it, is just say how much you'd pay for it and then arrange them. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see how the other guys fare because they're gonna see this wine as it starts to open up again because I think this is quite, quite dense, quite tensioned. <laughs> All right, uh, white wine, pale lemon, go, yeah, very nice, bright, light, pale thing. Smells a little bit saline, a little bit mineral. Smells like it would go well with seafood. Rich people like seafood. Yeah, man. <laughs> Lockie from behind the camera is being like, yeah, rich people do be loving seafood, dude. We get it. We like the finer things. Great wine. There's a decent amount. I'm going to pull this out of, of saying it's one of these wines, especially in sparkling wines got a decent amount of residual sugar, but because it's such high acidity, it kind of doesn't really feel that way. It almost feels like it's lower acidity dry because you've kind of got this really fun sugar acid balance. Bloody yummy wine, so easy to drink. Oh, and there is a bit of finesse in there as well, isn't there? You really sneak under the radar. There's this nice kind of like lazy structure, spiciness. There's a, a lot more than meets the eye. It's like a bloody transformer robot. Bit of acid, bit of fruit. Fuck all else, really. Um, so going back to my rule of like, the first wine seems like it had lots going on, so probably lots of things have been done to it, so it would cost more money. This feels like maybe less has been going on, so maybe less money. Um, I don't know. It's scratching a part of my head that Riesling scratches, but then on the palate, it's just a really sort of wacky experience. So uh, I would pay $28 a bottle for this, and I would buy three bottles. Wine number three. Ooh, bubbly. Well, it smells really fucking good. Oh, shit. This is the dastardly fellows at Different Drop. Know how to throw a few curveballs. Yeah, there's that nice kind of brioche thing. There's just like a lovely watermelon character, which I really love from these particular uh, expressions of Pinot Noir in sparkling form. I think this is all class. I think this is all class. Don't feel like it's champagne, although it could be. Like, it's pushing towards that, that sort of level. Yeah, that's, that's pink bubbles. I reckon that's cheap as chips though, dude. I reckon that is like, it's, it's so fine. Like it is so exactly the sort of wine that when you rock up to an event that uh, has house wines pouring, this will be the sparkling number. It's pink, so it's a little bit more interesting, but. I mean, yum, yum. It is a beautifully crisp Adelaide Hills afternoon. You would catch me alive drinking a glass of that. I'm actually really impressed with this wine. It is pretty engaging. The nose and aromatics is on point, lifted by a perfect amount of frizzante, sort of sparkling mousse, amazing. Uh, I would drop like 65 bucks a bottle and I would buy 12. That's my standout so far. Number four, pale. Very pale red. Could be anywhere from really well handled Pinot or Gamay or something or Trousseau. Color on it is weak cordial. Like the, you can see all the way through this wine. It's just like a hint of rouge running through it. But around the edges, it goes to the color of water. So damn. Damn. Righto. Okay. I'm gonna drop 150 bucks a bottle on that and buy 12. It's just amazing Pinot. It's like amazing, amazing Pinot. I feel it's New Zealand. It's delicious. It's really, really good. It's fine. It's dainty. The tannin's really soft, so it doesn't take me to burgundy, so it doesn't take me to the super expensive thing. 
Yeah, I reckon this is expensive Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir. When you put it in bubbles and make it pink and do a whole pile of other stuff too, it's 22 bucks a bottle. I reckon this is like... Outside of that, I see more examples of this out of New Zealand than anywhere else in the world. Uh, wow. Yeah, obviously, pretty speechless. That's um, the bottle that's going home with me tonight. Could even be something like Oregon too, or even like anywhere from the US, but oh, how can you not love that? That's a, that is a very lovable wine, delicious. So put that in here, I'm just gonna drink this, you can worry about the other guys um, talking. Hell yeah, all right. <laughs> Uh, one number five. Uh, it's gonna be hard to taste anything after that, to be honest. Uh, we'll give it a go. I mean, it's really good. I mean, it's really, really good. Wow, that is well pieced together. Um, doesn't feel quite as like balanced as something from the old world, um, or at least like, you know, burgundy or anything like that, but. Ah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> this is what I want my Chardonnay to taste like. Uh, thank you very much. Wow, um, I think this is a bit of a sleeper. I actually, mm, I actually don't think this is as pricey as initially it, it showcases. I think it's pricey. I don't think it's 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 150 bucks a bottle, but I would hazard a guess that this is probably in that sort of 55 range. It's really well constructed. Now, it reminds me a little bit of something like you know things like Cumia River. So it could be like in that New Zealand verse, but I don't think it's like that screaming high end. But this oak is just so well integrated. Tastes like butter, smells like wood. That's the checklist. Tastes like butter, smell like wood. Henry's happy with the Chardonnay that you've bought him. This is a little bit more, a little bit more generous and therefore, funnily enough, probably a really good deal. Um, but I, I don't, I think it's a bit of a sleeper. And then wine number six is in that orange verse. It is unfiltered. Or is it just an orange wine? Fuck, oh my God, dude. Yeah, okay, I reckon this is gonna be more expensive than you would expect it to be. It's got this, yeah, like, oh, the finish on it. Oh, the finish, dude, it runs for so long. Does that mean it's expensive? It's doing things to me. It's vexed me a bit, actually. Amazing, sort of almost glycol richness flow through the palate. It's really hard to make. It's really, really, really difficult to make something like this. For it to even come out looking like this is just, Bonkers. It's, it's seen some serious age. Like this will be at least four to seven years old. You know, there's a great Australian kind of bakery treat, the, the humble custard tart, you know, Balfour's custard tart. One of those right now with this would kick ass. Like that is just so outrageously delicious and just such a food friendly style. 70 bucks. That's one of the most interesting wines that we've had. I don't know if it's Fortify, Skin Contact, what's going on? The guys will have a better impression of it, but I would drop 80 bucks a bottle for this and I would buy 12 in a heartbeat. These wines are exceptionally long lived. Um, they develop gloriously in the cellar um, and I would be honored to have 12 in mind. Let's see what the other boys think about that. Order the price bracket. Yeah. This was really fun. Yes. I really yeah. enjoyed this concept. Yeah. Um, and definitely you kind of had to challenge like what you know about wine versus what you think you know. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. And I think there's also something in it for everyone because we know that there's ideally, we don't know the price range, but mm -hmm. I'm guessing there's gonna be some really expensive wine here. Feels like 20 to $100. And yeah. there's gonna be a bunch of stuff in the middle. Um, but it also means that there's like high likelihood we're gonna find a really good bargain. That's that's and what that's, was in my head the yeah. entire time where I'm like, like you, you smell a wine, you go, oh, that's like that's oaky money. white wine. It's like, you know, that's mm. gonna be money. It's like, but this could be like one of those like different drop scour jobs, but it's like, that's actually 30 bucks in the fucking bangs. I loved <laughs> yep. all of these wines. <laughs> yeah. There was one that I wasn't as into, but then yep. I, I get five out of six with dozens for me. Cool. I fucking love Wow, five out of six. That really happens wine. from you. So let's get cracking. Wine number one. Mm. Big old eh. You know, it was a big old air. Eh. And yeah. it's fine. It it's has fine, its place. It's nothing wrong with it. You're at the pub, you're watching the football, you've just got a you've got a shepherd's pie on the way. Yeah. A glass it's a of this. Big wine with it's no a, nose. It's it's, <laughs> like, it's huge. <laughs> it's just and I was like, fuck all, yeah. What's the, yeah, what's what the what's massive. the opposite of like velvet glove iron fist? <laughs> 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 What's the opposite of that? <laughs> it's weird. It's like, I, even I looked at it, I was like, man, I'm going to, uh, smelling this is going to be like an arduous task. And it's not. It just, it's, it's so oh. muted. Yeah. And that's what kind of stung it for me because like the really great heavily extracted reds are aromatically divine and mm. really piquant. And that's like. It doesn't have any length. Yeah. 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 So yeah, that, that buggers off pretty quick. Yeah. yeah. It fucks. It like, it's intense when you get it first in. It goes bang and well, then just disappears. Well, like this is what I want to have at the footy. Because like, 100%. I, like, like I'm having this with meat pie done and I don't need to think too much about it. I'm actually going to be pretty stoked. And I mean, I wanted th 38 bucks, I wanted six. I didn't want, didn't want none of them. Mm. You know? yeah. I've got a use case for this. 
Where did it Where did it fall in your sort of rankings? Was it middle of the pack? Was it cheap? Was this it just was, on the expensive this, side? This, this was cheapest for me. This was cheapest. the second cheapest. Second cheapest for me. This was cheapest for me. This um, is in the middle for me. I thought this just it, it does, does smell like bugger oil. I was like, ah, oh, this is gonna be cheap shit, but there's so much going on in the mouth. Mm. But, mm. Could be like a yeah, like IGT tus mm. Tuscan thing. Mm. Uh, two for thirty-five for me. Six for fifty-five. Six for thirty-eight. Oh, that bastard. That yeah, bastard. Yeah, that bastard. <laughs> Mendoza Malbec. Malbec. Mendoza yeah. Malbec. Now, remarkably, remarkably you is a good <laughs> it is a word, really is really If you good. smell it, you wouldn't think so. Remarkably. <laughs> That's fantastic. I do love the fact that it's just simply called Fat Bastard. We'll and it, and it is what it is. There's no two ways about so it. So I, I believe this is a, like a global company that just yep. buys parcels of fruit. So I think they've got Fat Bastard Chardonnay. Is that fourth wave wine? Is it fourth wave? Uh, this is from... Uh, no, this is... Uh, it's Fat Bastard. Uh, this is uh, the business address is at Abbotsford, so this will be a red and white number. Four. Right, cool. Yeah. Interesting. So, which is fourth wave one, essentially. Right, okay. This must be a sub brand of what they do. They, they just do a lot it's of stuff like this. Good wine. It's yeah. fine. It is what it is. Oh, and 16 in... bucks retail. Damn. Yeah, sure. yeah, football yeah. wine. Yeah. Football wine. 100%. Sports wine. Winter sports wine. Yeah, Excellent. nothing like having some Argentinian Malbec at football. <laughs> right, a bit of Langhorn, but you know, yeah. that's how we go. Well, the next wine was my cheapest wine. Really? Yeah, this is my cheapest. Nice. <laughs> this is this is firmly middle of the pack. This is my second cheapest one of the line. I thought this yeah. was like, uh, hey. There's, there's one later on that's just like, this is what it's trying to be. Mm, yeah, uh, okay. Yep, 100%. Look, at the end of the day, I thought this was fucking delicious. I, I love this one. I, I thought they were all delicious. I thought that was delicious as well. I thought this was like Carver. But it's like flat style Carver. It was sparkling when I had it. What? It wasn't sparkling when I had it. Is it sparkly? <laughs> no. <laughs> Unfiltered CO2, which, which generally would indicate higher price. It's got like Riesling energy for me. I was like kind of good mid-tier Aussie Riesling. Yeah, like, you know, it's got that, but it's got like lovely kind of fruit but it's got that kind of savouriness to it it reminds me of some high quality Aussie stuff mm. um, but not ridiculously priced so that's why I had a third well fourth I'll... most expensive third cheapest mm. I wanted three for 28 I wanted six for 28 I wanted 12 for 15 Bruna! Bruna Beltina! That's really Beltina. good! That's yeah. really good for, what was it, 28? 25? 28. 25, 25 bucks. 25, 25, 28, 25 bucks for good Gruner goes mm. hard, goes well. Yeah, mm. absolutely. Stiffed Gottvig. Yeah. Stiffed What'd you call it? <laughs> Stiffed Gottvig. Go to Vogue. Okay. <laughs> I mean, how was anyone at Hosted Home Matter supposed, supposed to pronounce that? Uh, good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, there That's you go. One of the most interesting closures I've seen, just in terms of like, you don't see a lot of. Uh, Renaissance artwork no, on a screw cap? No, no not absolutely on screw caps. not. Yeah, they're into they're into their kind of on. like it's you know level. like deity figures on uh, bottles of Gruner, yeah. like you know violins and classical music. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You know what would be really funny line. from different drop if they just did this in, this in the correct order. <laughs> if you have enough of if you have enough of this and you're all rowdy with your mates and no one can everyone slurring their words, you can't get you're, you've got a real mess one on your hands. Oh mm. gosh. Oh, yeah, boy. Moving right along. Next one. Loved it. Delicious. So awesome. fucking good. How do you not? How do you not hate this? Excellent. That's, Loved that's it. Stunning. I thought it was the cheapest. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 mean, I thought look, it was. There is definitely rosé sparkling out there that is incredibly cheap. Yeah. I personally don't feel that it's this. I think this is no. cool, like just beautiful. Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah, it reminds it's me of like awesome. Swinney's top stuff. Like yeah. I don't think it was champagne. I think it's Aussie. No, I think it's I think it's a domestic or a new world sparkling producer. I I wouldn't oh, think it's a champagne. Right. But this is one of those things where you see rose sparkling, and there's two ways you go. It's either like you know dirt cheap, or you could go to like um yeah, you know, like high end Grand champagne, yeah, 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 crazy yeah. stuff. But then you got the domestic market, and you kind of bring down that price. But this is fucking awesome. It this is, very is good. really really well made Our sparkling wine. Uh, for twenty two dollars. Oh, I fucking hope so. Yeah. Um, a dozen for 60? Not a dozen for 65. Wow! Hey. Love, it, Love that. They just make really fucking good sparkling. They do so consistently mm -hmm. over so and over again. It's delicious. That, yeah. that autolytic character in there is just absolutely mm. elite. So that's just uh, for idiots playing at home like myself. This is people chasing a more champagne style yeah. of sparkling. Yeah, it's wine. a traditional yeah. method sparkling, but it's made yeah. in Tassie, which is, you know, if you're going to do What's it in Australia, that's really MV good. What's stand for? Multi vintage. Multi vintage. It's just the same thing, but it's a different but, letter. Yeah, okay. Uh, next one. Wine Hell, line up. Yeah, dude. That's money. That's money. That's yeah. so fucking that's, good. Yeah, that's insane. Cool. This is the first one where dude. I was just like, this ain't cheap. 
Oh, like, if that was a fucking perfume, you would bathe oh yourself in that. That's what I said. <laughs> it's so good. Man, I oh, want, I want to skate on that shit in winter and drink it when it melts in summer. Like, honestly, it's it's so good. Oh, it's so aromatically, good. it's unbelievable. But this is where the monkey on the shoulder really comes in because I'm like, is this a fucking bargain? Oh, is this a bargain? No way, and it nah, hasn't gotten nah. me to like burgundy levels. No shot, New Zealand. Dude. That's exactly that's that. I, mean, I was at Otago as well. It had that kind of ripeness and, and savouriness. It's just, just pinpoint. It's mm. like really precise. Yeah, it's pretty, yeah. pretty uh, uh, is it Pinot Noir? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah, gotta be. Yeah. <laughs> gotta be. <laughs> I like it. You're like, I reckon this is it, but I'm not 100 yeah. percent I'm 85. <laughs> Oh, yeah. dude! Like, I'm so glad you picked that as Pinot because if you pick it as anything else, that's 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 far yeah. you're, you're, you're pretty far into this journey, like, dude. Uh, every time I come in with one of these, I feel like a cat bringing in like a dead bird or something, and so often it's just like, why the fuck? And once you're like, great job. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to buy twelve, and I wanted to pay a hundred and fifty a bottle. I was twelve for eighty. I was twelve absolutely, for eighty. Absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Twelve for eighty. How much? <laughs> Tazzy, fuck! Oh, well done. This is so good. Well oh, done, no. man. These seeks. are great people. Sailor seeks horse. Yeah, they've come up, uh, visited a couple that are just doing um, yeah, such an amazing job. An amazing job. It's like the weirdest thing to put in the top of your dating profile. Sailor seeks. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon this next one kicked dick. I love this one. It was a good wine. It's very, I, very good. I think good. this is your sleeper. Yeah, this is your sleeper value. I, I, I was the exact same. I was yeah. the exact same. I think it's fucking fantastic, but mm -hmm. it's just like, it's not quite... It reminded me of the um, Cumia River Chardonnay that we had oh, a few months true. back, but not at that level, but like yeah. a step down from this that. This reminded yeah. me of that Cherubino <clears throat> number, where oh, the, really, no. the really sort of like, wow, we thought it was really good, but it ended up being stupidly good value. Mm. Um, and I think the oak's misleading. I think when you see oak these days, and it's just like, bang, like we can see oak, we can yeah. see fruit. It finished on oak for me. And I was like, ah, oh. and it was like a little bit riper. And I was like, ah. Oh. Usually with Chardonnay, it seems to be like less is more is the thing that we search for with really high quality Chardonnay. But I don't, I could be completely wrong. I was yeah. still willing to drop 55 and buy 12. Still loved it. It's got this like key lime pie thing that I really love. It's got this like flaky crust and it's tangy. Yeah, dude, it's fucking nah. delicious. Nah, yeah. uh, I went at 12 yeah. as well for 50 bucks. Uh, this is the most expensive wine. I thought 110 bucks. <laughs> Give me a dozen. I fucking love this, dude. Wow, well, yeah. this is so far wine a lineup. What do we got, Lucky? Damn! Damn! <laughs> oh, mate. Mate, well, that is a call. See, the, the brain. The, the brain. brain does funny things. Like ah! Wow. This is maybe one of the Australia's like greatest Chardonnay producers Easily. in the history of the country. Strong yep. great. This is yeah. fucking And these cool. guys were like really, really big. Um, so Gary Farr, um, this gentleman's father who started the winery, um, was working for, I believe it was like Dujac, um, like right when Dujac was starting. And he was working with none other than another Aussie, uh, uh, Stephen Henschke. Yo. And it was like Steve Henschke and there was another um, uh, James Halliday. Holy oh, shit. They're oh, all, yeah. They were all working together at homies. Domain Du Jack in one particular vintage. So these guys were on like the Burgundy bandwagon uh, like way before it even kicked off in Australia uh, and have done like since the, the get go, the, the by far wines are by far uh, yeah, some of the too. best. Uh, in the country. Yeah, Stunning. That makes Stunning. a lot of sense. Okay, yeah. so this one has to be more than a, If we're tracking, because it's been 16, 28, 39, 70, it's a bit in order. They've been trying what to if it's like game. 10? Uh, <laughs> yeah. But no. Surely not. Surely this is like where, I mean, there's BK's one, there's. Um, uh, Wrong fucking country, brother. Where you reckon we're in Spain? I reckon we're in Jura, baby. I reckon, I reckon this is Vijon. I reckon this is fucking delicious. Oh, it's amazing. It's I want some custard tart, mm, like mm. Balfour's custard tart with mm. a bit of this would just kick ass. It is delicious. I had literally no idea. Like, you know how downstairs, between yeah. the tastings, I was like, there's one wine up there that I am baffled by. That, so that's exactly, this is the exact wine I thought what you yeah. meant when you were talking about that. But yeah, so this is like a fortified wine. Yep. It, like If, it if I'm like correct, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but it hasn't been fortified. Yeah. So they produce it the exact same way they make like fortified wine, but they don't add the spirit. And this has been popular in the Jura part of France for a long, long time. And it's a very unique style called Vinjon, and it's uh, delicious. I, I don't know, bloody man. know, man. I like, loved it. I loved it. I wanted to spend uh, 80 bucks and I wanted to buy 12. I was 12 for 160. 
one for 70. Like, I loved it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, yeah, what the yeah, fuck yeah, is yeah. that? It's niche, man. It's yeah. niche. Yeah, so like, niche. what am I going to do with 12 of those? Nah. <laughs> every, every time you get some good-ass cheese. <laughs> fuck yeah, go. Yeah. 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 But, like, right now in my mouth, it's like, did I have fried chicken a minute ago? Like, I'm so confused we by the flavors. We should have some fried chicken. Anyway, so anyway. What have we got? Let's go! Oh, no. That's awesome. That's, That's fucking hectically good. Do we have a lot of good wine open right now? We have... We have a lot of good wine. Stupid good wine. Yeah. We have a lot of good wine over there. Oh no. Right I'm going, I, I feel <laughs> oh, like no. I need to go, and yeah, this is 600, and, what was it, 190? Yeah. For 100, so 620 mil, the, yeah. the, the Vinjohn size. Niche. <laughs> Niche. And with the old school, Lockie, did you have fun opening this up? <laughs> no. just, just fucking shit everywhere. <laughs> they don't oh, yeah. use the good wax, they use the old school ceiling, you know, King's Ring wax. Oh, I remember, I remember. Oh, man. That, yeah. I love the label too. Yeah. I love the label design. The good news about this one, this will be open, this can stay open for the next like week and a bit, because this will hold, because it's been oxidatively, um, or biologically aged pretty well, so it'll be pretty stable. So Where are we at, guys? Let's get some fucking comp day tomorrow and have that for lunch. Oh, yeah, let's go. I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Why the line up? What do you guys think? I'm down. Oh my god, I don't know. I'm like, down. These are, that's a stunning, iconic wine. That's a stunning wine, but we can't have it when you've gotten one bottle. So we're really. What was your rank? Oh, you, no, I'm, no, I'm not against calling that one for the line up. Like, it, it, the fact that I don't understand something, it'd be like putting someone in an F1 car and being like, this car's shit. I just don't know how to drive it, you know? But it still shouldn't mean that that car. Well, can't here's be in the one problem room. is that all three of these were clean sweeps. Hmm. Okay, cool. So those are cl cl absolute clean sweeps. So we're all in object. Like I say, Tasmania is the winner uh, <laughs> <laughs> because they got two in there. Um, Any mini mini Pinot wins? Yeah, yeah I think Pinot. Pino, I think Pinot Pino wins. <laughs> like that fight. Like we. It's just like, so I, good. like it's one of those ones that it, even if I was like I couldn't drink it, I'd go up to that glass once an hour just to smell it. Sailor Six Horse. Sailor Six Horse, dude. Red hotliner. <laughs> Red hotliner. Local sailors in your area. <laughs> <laughs> Need more horse. All right, cheers, guys. Ciao, ciao.